Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Happy to be joining you today from my new room in my apartment that I moved into. I just put up my uh, picture behind me. And so I am back in the groove in many ways, so to speak. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be talking about what is spiritual courtesy and why is it important? There are many in this world who do not apply it, do not even understand it. And if they did, they would certainly apply it quite a bit more often. So I encourage all those that are watching for the first time or have just tuned in, maybe they came across this on um, a group page or a event page to take some time and enjoy this teaching with me today. <clears throat> you will learn some significant, significant benefits that will certainly enhance your life, help remove problems from your life, help resolve problems in your life, and assist you with being more aligned to your soul, to heaven, and to your source creator. There is so much that is not understood about the subject of spiritual courtesy that you will get many wisdoms out of it. So if you cannot remain, if you're un unable to stay and you have to go, uh, especially if you're new, make sure you like and subscribe and then you'll be able to come back to this and watch the recording when you're ready. <coughs> and so today, uh, it's been a busy day for me. On Tuesdays, I do quite a few teachings. I have a ongoing uh, weekly program, several of them. One is uh, Awaken Your Spiritual Channels, in which it's a 12-week program. We're in week seven now. And the other is an ongoing 52-week program in which I teach step-by-step Tao -step healing. What is Tao healing? How to apply it in your life uh, and different uh, practices and associations with it. Much deeper knowledge than what is taught here on Facebook. So if those things are of interest to you, you know, some personal, a little more one-on-one -on -one or small group interactive wisdom and teachings where you get uh, the, the deeper meat on the bone of what is Tao healing and how to self-heal, I encourage you to come to my website, asoulhealer.com, and uh, just scroll down the first page. You'll see right away the links to this information, <clears throat> and then I'll be able to serve you with more there. So while we're waiting for Facebook to gather some more people, uh, I'll check in with whoever is already here. So welcome Heather McNee, aloha, thanks for coming. Aloha also Lorraine Dolan, welcome. Welcome to Kristen Rojas, uh, Gloria Caron, aloha. Welcome Monica, welcome also to Bibi Perez, uh, Robert Dosa, welcome Shelly Roy. <clears throat> Lots of love to everybody as well. Thank you so much for your presence and your joining. Let me um, turn off one of my noisemakers here. Give me just a moment to access that. Okay, good. Welcome, Angela Byrne and Missy Dodd. So <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go ahead and call forth the beings of light. As I always do with my live streams, these are so much more powerful when we invite heaven to be present. And a lot of times we get tremendous wisdom as a result. <clears throat> so we ask all layers of the divine Tao source, our beloved creator, to please be present. We ask all the beings of light serving the planet of the light side, including the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, lamas, sifus, gurus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, Beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Amitofu Buddha, beloved Kuan Yin, we love you all, honor you, respect you, and I bow my head to each of you. We ask you to please be present at this time. Again, as appropriate, offer whatever service, guidance, and wisdom that can best serve each and every one of us. We thank you from the bottom of our heart for all that you do for us, seen and unseen. And we ask for your wisdom today specifically on the subject matter of spiritual courtesy. Spiritual courtesy so that each and every one of us that watch and pay attention, listen to this live stream or podcast, are able to get further wisdom, further guidance. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, we love you, honor you, respect you, and we ask most humbly and sincerely for your presence today. We ask that as we chant love, peace, and harmony, we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us, to serve unconditionally. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony one round to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. And if you are new and you are unfamiliar with this song, you can learn more at lovepeaceharmony.org or you can even download the app. And it's a song that is transmitted in over 40 languages and it serves and it heals. So let us chant to serve. Lula, Lula, li. Lula, Lula, la, li. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, 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 Shong I ping on a she, Shong I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace and harmony love peace and harmony <coughs> excuse me so sorry that i have to clear my throat in your ear i wish i could mute when i do that unfortunately on a telephone that option is not available so thank you all for joining thank you for attending today and thank you for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. So welcome Shelly Roy, aloha, welcome Angela Byrne, Missy Dodd. Uh, welcome also to uh, Amanda. Welcome Heather, welcome Delma. <coughs> welcome Sharon Dodd, welcome Ali Sheik and Julia Abbott. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for hitting the share button. So today we're focusing on spiritual courtesy. What is spiritual courtesy? Why is it important in our life? How do we bring spiritual courtesy into our everyday uh, way of being? So it's a very important subject and one that is not touched on all that much. And it's one that I'll be the first to admit I do not do a very good job at, which is probably why I was asked to teach it. Because as with anything, any teacher will tell you that if they teach something, they learn it much better. So this is apparently something I need to learn much better. Uh, but I'm sure we can all get some value out of this. <coughs> Excuse me. So spiritual courtesy, what is it? It is being courteous to all in the soul world that serve your soul journey. Your soul journey did not start in this life. It started long time ago. Before you entered into this physical experience, you had uh, agreements. You consulted with your heavens team and you made agreements to enter into this life to accomplish certain things. Spiritual courtesy is an aspect of acknowledging that you are a soul on a spiritual journey. So many of us in this life, uh, we are so lost in the sauce of life. Our TV dramas, taking care of the kids, uh, uh, dealing with uh, relationships, um, dealing with the work and all the work environment, four hours a day of driving, blah, 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 shopping, eating, more and more and more, go taking a movie occasionally. Life tends to grab us by the hair and pull us around. And what happens because of that is we fail to comprehend that we are a spiritual being first. 
This is exceedingly important to bring to the forefront of every breath in your life. We are a spiritual being first and foremost. Literally, virtually every one of your life problems could resolve much faster. Every one of them, think about that. Relationship problems could resolve faster. Financial problems could resolve faster. Health problems could resolve faster. There is not a single problem in your life that could not resolve much faster if you placed the comprehension, the, the knowingness, but, but you know it, but you don't apply it. If you placed the comprehension, the knowingness, and the application, of putting your spiritual journey first, your soul first, your comprehension that you are a soul first. If you made that in front of every breath, in front of every thought, in front of every action, your life could get much better, much faster. The problem is we don't. Because we don't, we remain in a place of <coughs> illusion, I guess is a good word. We remain in a place of um, discontent, unsatisfactoriness. We very often remain in a place of a lack of awareness and a lack of awakening. And then we circle around the wagon and we always have our problem, and the same problem and the same people and the same boss and the same money problems and the same people and the same pain and the same issues because we don't awaken. Spiritual courtesy starts with our awakening that we are a spiritual being. If we can comprehend, recognize, live, breathe that we are a spiritual being, first and foremost, then we can start applying spiritual courtesy. I'm going to take a moment to acknowledge others who have joined. So welcome Ali, welcome Julia Abbott, welcome Morgana Zito, welcome Linda Ilova, aloha, welcome also to Diana Vittoria, Joy, and Adriana, welcome, thank you all for attending. <clears throat> so why is it important that we acknowledge our own spiritual journey first and then what does spiritual courtesy have to do with that? Well, spiritual courtesy starts with spiritual courtesy to our own soul journey. If we recognize that we are a spiritual being at a very real present, I breathe, I'm a spiritual being, I eat like I'm a spiritual being, I speak to others like I'm a spiritual being. If we live the spiritual being awakening, welcome Janine, <clears throat> then we can start to recognize that we are surrounded by spiritual beings. This is also difficult to understand for a lot of people. We all uh, watching this believe in God or Creator. Uh, many of us recognize a power uh, that is outside of us that impacts us. Many of us have no issue, you know, being respectful and honoring of a Jesus or a Mother Mary or a Buddha or a Kuan Yin or a, um, a Krishna or Vishnu, something like that. So many of us, <coughs> excuse me, are okay and acknowledge specific spiritual beings. Spiritual courtesy goes far, 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 far deeper than acknowledging. Spiritual courtesy, <clears throat> think of it like this. Think of yourself as a fish in the ocean. You have heard before that a fish does not know it's swimming in the ocean. A fish does not know it's swimming in water. It just is. We do not think about every breath we take. It just is. We breathe in, we breathe out. We're sleeping, we breathe in, we breathe out. We don't consciously cause the breath in and then consciously cause the breath out. It's an automatic function, just as it is automatic for the fish to be swimming in the ocean. Think of your spirituality <clears throat> as a fish swimming in the ocean. You literally Right now, where you sit, where you stand, whether you're on the bus listening on your cell phone, doesn't matter where you're at. Right now, <coughs> I'm so sorry <coughs> to have to clear my throat in front of you. I deeply apologize. 
And I wish I could mute it. Unfortunately, I cannot. <clears throat> Literally, where you are, where you stand, where you sit, there are spiritual beings all around you. If your third eye is open, ask to see them. Dear my heavens team, dear the beings of light that are with me, that serve me, can you please show yourself? You can post what you see if you have third eye. I'm sure others would be happy to receive that validation. Spiritual courtesy is moving from this third dimensional world of I have this problem, I have that problem, I have relationship this, I have pain, blah, 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 I, 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 I. Spiritual courtesy is moving from I, I, I <coughs> to a higher comprehension, a higher respect and acknowledgement of all that surrounds you. From the moment of your birth, you had a heaven's team assigned to you. You have some ancestors that are with you and always serving you. Some loved ones that are with you and serving you. <clears throat> you also have a team of beings, saints, that are with you and serving you all the time. When you sleep, they are serving you. When you're eating, they are serving you. When you are walking the dog, they are serving you. They are with you. They travel with you wherever you go. Everyone seen the bumper sticker, never drive faster than your angels can fly? It's true. <clears throat> Beings are assigned to us. They are always with us. Why are we not aware of it? Because we do not have spiritual courtesy. We do not have the awakening and the awareness that we are a spirit ourselves well before we are this physical experience now i have taught many times the wisdom that master shah has brought to us <clears throat> that our life is a culmination of our good and unpleasant karma that all things good that happened to us we earned it we deserved it or our ancestors did good things and we are benefiting from it all unpleasant things that happened to us we earned it we deserved it because either we or our ancestors made mistakes that's not a new teaching what does that have to do with anything? It has to do that you are a spiritual being first and experiencing our spiritual experiences at the physical level. When, and I have just said, <clears throat> when we um, recognize that, we can solve many, 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 many of our problems much, 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 much faster. It's probably... An extraordinary amount of time we waste complaining and trying to deal with things at the physical level when we could be dealing with them at the at the spiritual level much much faster why because good things done create good life bad things done create bad life one plus one equals two so when you recognize that and you recognize there are beings of light always around you trying to assist you you can start applying spiritual courtesy. So let's talk about what does that look like? That looks like, first and most importantly, recognition and gratitude. Welcome to Chris and Strachan. Welcome, Victor. Welcome, Gabby. Welcome, Lisa. Welcome, Divijat. Welcome, Odilia. Welcome, Mary Buckley. And welcome, Janine. And if I missed anybody, please forgive me. <coughs> Respect recognition gratitude can you see them most of us cannot probably 90 percent of us cannot see spiritual beings therefore we don't give them attention therefore we don't acknowledge them therefore we don't give them gratitude or respect maybe once a night at the end of the night thank you god thank you jesus blah 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 good night that's a good start thank you buddha once or twice during the day when something good happens. <clears throat> Most of us only acknowledge and offer gratitude when something good happens. In my 12 weeks of opening Spiritual Channels program, the first week I teach on understanding the soul. And at the end of that first week, I give a homework assignment. 
I suggest you write this down and apply it in your world. The homework assignment is to offer your food and water to all of the beings of light serving your soul journey. Every meal, every time, every glass you drink, every soda you have, every coffee you drink, you offer it to heaven first. You offer it to all those serving your soul journey first. Now, why did I offer that as a homework assignment? And what is the result of that homework assignment? <clears throat> well, I offered it because that's what Master Shah taught me. How did Master Shah learn it? His spiritual teachers taught him. How did they learn it? Their spiritual teachers was taught that also. So it's ancient, 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 ancient intelligent wisdom. We're so lost in the sauce of life, we forget this very common wisdom. When we offer our food, when we offer our uh, drink, dear all of the beings of light that have served my soul journey, all of my heavens, team guides, angels, and saints, you can list them one by one if you want. God, Jesus, Buddha, blah, blah, blah. You can. I love you, Ani. I respect you from all my heart. I thank you for all that you do for me. Please enjoy this food and this nourishment first. Please enjoy this water first. Now, I will repeat for all those who came in late. <clears throat> Very often, heaven requires me to do a teaching on something that I am the weakest at. This is probably one of my weakest areas. So, it is always room for improvement. Most teachers will tell you that they learn a lot more when they teach it. Most of the time I speak in flow. So I am learning as I'm speaking. <clears throat> when we offer our food and our water to the beings of light that are constantly surrounding us, we are receiving virtue. We are receiving love. We are receiving blessings. Does anybody want more love, more virtue, more blessings? All that is recommended is that you acknowledge the spiritual world that surrounds you 24-7. Many times we are oblivious to it. <clears throat> spiritual courtesy, bowing down. Bowing down is a spiritual courtesy. Very common in the East. Martial arts teachers, a student bows to the teacher. Uh, any spiritual teaching over there, people bow to the teacher. <coughs> in the West, <coughs> excuse me, in the West, ego, uh, bow down, bow down to nobody. Nobody is my king, nobody is my boss. I am the boss of my life. I bow down to nobody. Ego, ego, ego. Bowing down is spiritual courtesy. Who do you bow down to? You bow down to your creator. You bow down to those that you connect with at the soul level. Do not just do it when you want something. That is not spiritual courtesy. That is begging. That is pleading. It's very different than spiritual courtesy. When we are spiritually courteous, what happens? I will do a flow for you. I will ask heaven, what happens when we are spiritually courteous? So welcome Susan, great to see you here. Welcome Phyllis, welcome Lee Ram, welcome Kristen Strachan, welcome Samantha, Erica Rimmer, welcome Becky Lafave, welcome Gabby, and anybody else I may have missed, forgive me, welcome. <clears throat> so I will offer a flow, I will ask Kevin to speak through me, to give a message as to what really happens when you offer spiritual courtesy. So, dear heaven, to the source, could you please borrow my mouth off of this wisdom, this teaching? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay. 
How? This is the divine. I love you all with all my heart. There is not a moment in all time that this is not true all the time. I send many shepherds to humanity and actually to many realms to ensure that you do not stray too far from your origins. I do not need your bowing down. I do not need your spiritual courtesy. I do not need your love, respect, or gratitude. The reason I do not need it is because I am you. And that would be needy of me if I am you. I recognize the purity of myself in you in all time. Spiritual courtesy then must serve a different purpose. That purpose is for you, not me. The purpose is to assist you in remaining in alignment with my heart and soul. The shepherds that I send bring you great messages on how to stay in alignment. Billions of you talk to me daily, some hourly. I hear and respond to all instantly. Spiritual courtesy is very much like opening a doorway and talking to me directly. When you offer deep respect and gratitude, then the channel that separates you and I you and any being of light serving on this journey is much wider. The communication of both directions is much clearer. Do you understand? By, for example, offering your food, your drink to all those serving your journey your soul expands in that moment. More light is showered upon you. Virtue is showered upon you. The food literally is blessed and cleared of negative energies. The drink, the same. And wisdom sometimes is offered during your offering to the light side. When you open this channel, this place of gratitude, what it does for you is it brings wisdom, solutions to life virtue to offset blockages. It brings to you direct answers and guidance that has always 
been knocking at your door, but you have been unable to receive because you did not have a grateful, connected heart. Spiritual courtesy is placing yourself lower for the purpose of receiving higher wisdom, love, guidance, blessings, and more. When you remove ego and offer gratitude, love, respect, alignment, you are in essence becoming one more so than in that previous moment. Spiritual courtesy is one of the fastest ways to return to the Tao, the source of all creation. Ponder these words. Listen again. I and all of those serving the plan of the light side are always with you, around you, serving you. And spiritual courtesy is the acknowledgement of that. This is your beloved divine. I bless you all. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a pretty message, right? What a beautiful message. Some of you with third eye, maybe you saw uh, the divine, a very bright light. <clears throat> so thank you, divine, for borrowing my mouth. Welcome, Lotsia. Welcome, Crystal. Welcome, Lisha. Welcome, Samantha. Welcome, Elizabeth. Welcome, Janice. So I don't know what what more might need to be said, you know, kind of speaking over what what was just stated would probably not be very courteous, would it? <laughs> so let's work instead on clearing blockages. Let's work instead on clearing those things that keep us from being spiritually courteous. <clears throat> In most cases, that is our ego, that is our um, mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs, our stuckedness, and our self-righteousness. These tend to keep us in this physical 3D world, thinking that we have to solve things with our physical 3D mind, uh, tends to keep our heart closed, does not allow us to receive the way the divine just suggested. And it's important that we spend time to clear away those blockages. So let us do so. So let's do a practice. Everybody sit up straight. <clears throat> Feet flat on the floor, unless you prefer lotus position. Back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> Close your eyes and I will walk you through a practice. And if it is comfortable, please repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, God, Tao, Source, dear all the beings of light serving the plan of the light side, all of those serving my own soul journey, dear my heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints, dear the soul of all of my heaven's teams from all lifetimes, all of those that have served my soul journey in all lifetimes. I love you. Truly, truly love you. Deeply, deeply appreciate from my heart your selfless service for my soul journey. I deeply and sincerely apologize to all of you my lack of awakening, my lack of honoring, 
I sincerely apologize my lack of respect. Please forgive me for this and any time when I have not thought of you with gratitude, when I have not offered you my food and water first. Please forgive me this and all lifetimes I have disrespected you spoken or written unpleasant words or went against the light side please forgive me my beloved divine creator for my lack of awakening to all that you do for me for all that you do for my loved ones, family and friends. Please forgive me, my beloved divine creator, for not opening my heart more to you every day. Please forgive my ignorance, my ego, my self-righteousness, I deeply apologize to all souls of humanity on behalf of myself and my ancestors for whenever our attitudes, ego, self-righteousness has caused you harm or suffering. This in any time that we have pushed our agenda and not considered how it may hurt you please forgive me and my ancestors any negative mindsets attitudes and beliefs we have taught others and as a result they were harmed on their soul journey Please forgive me, my beloved divine creator, for these same things. For I recognize it may have closed my heart. It may have limited my awakening. All of these ways of negative thinking, attitudes, beliefs. Please forgive me, my beloved divine creator and all souls these mistakes to all the souls in all time that have harmed me said negative things to me have been obstinate self-righteous huge ego towards me to all of the souls that have harmed my family, loved ones, taught incorrect or wrong spiritual teachings, for all of those that have attributed and assisted in my lack of awakening, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness and release you fully and completely of any spiritual debt that you may have with me. I now recognize that I may have been this way towards you first, and that in this lifetime you have reminded me of my lack of awakening. You may have reminded me by being unpleasant towards me as I may in the past have been towards you. Regardless, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness and I ask your unconditional forgiveness, whatever I may have done. We ask the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony to please bring healing and blessing to my soul journey, to your family's soul journey to all of those souls that may have been unpleasant to you. 
we ask the source soul song of love peace and harmony to open our hearts more release ego release self-righteousness negativity and more we ask the source soul song of love peace and harmony as we chant to please clear our blockages that we can be spiritually courteous that we can remember to bow our head with gratitude that we can remember to offer our food and our water to all the beings serving our soul journey that we can remember to be more grateful often for no particular reason please bless this practice as we chant love peace and harmony we invite all souls and all universes to chant with us at this time. So let us chant a few minutes and clear these blockages. Chant from your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li. Lula. Lula, li, lula, lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in hurling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang, ling, rong, her, musher, shong. Shuang ai ping on a xie. Shuang ai ping on a xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Visualize hundreds, thousands of beings of light literally all around you. They are chanting with you. Offer your gratitude to them, your love to them from your heart. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I run, run, lay. Wang ling rong her musher shang. Shuang ai ping on a xie. Shuang ai ping on a xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony ha 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 thank you thank you thank you Let us bow our heads in gratitude nine times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Countless bow downs, countless bow downs, countless bow downs. What does that mean, countless bow downs? That means my soul is bowing down in gratitude countless times. <clears throat> if you can put your head on the floor, place your forehead on the floor, 
count to 108. One, two, three, four. This is another way to offer gratitude. You'll be surprised. If you bring spiritual courtesy into your world more and more each day, remember to offer your food and your water. When the food is already in your mouth, put your fork down and say, please forgive me, heaven. I'm so sorry. I forgot to offer it to you first. Please enjoy everything else on this plate. I sincerely apologize. You'll probably find yourself doing that 20, 30, 40 times before the food stops at your mouth and you go, oh, and you put it back down and then you offer it to heaven. This is training to be spiritually courteous. This is training to remember that heaven is always with you, always surrounding you, always serving you unconditionally. They ask nothing in return. What about Mother Earth? She gives you her oxygen, her food, and her water. You think you would be alive without her? Why don't you offer it to her? Ask forgiveness to all of the souls that have been harmed in the making of the food that is nourishing you. Ask forgiveness to all of the souls that have been harmed in the making of the food that is nourishing you. When you offer your food and water, when you bow your head any time during the day and you say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the beautiful bird song. Thank you for the beautiful weather. Thank you for the bad weather. I'm sure it is serving a purpose. Thank you for the financial restrictions that I have. I understand that it's probably because of some of my karma. I have not cleared it yet. I sincerely apologize to all of those souls that I have harmed. I ask most humbly and sincerely, <clears throat> for your forgiveness. I know I must have made some mistakes that has brought these financial conditions to me. I ask heaven most sincerely to bless me to continue to clear this suffering so that I can be a better servant. Please bring me financial blessings so that I can be a better servant. This is communicating with the soul world. When you communicate, not when you need it, when you don't need it, when you give from your heart, just as the divine offered in the message, what are you doing? You are cracking open your heart. You are making the channel through which love, light, virtue, and blessings can come to you. Spiritual courtesy is a secret, and it is sacred wisdom that if you apply consistently every day, will bring positive benefits and value to your life. So I offer my deepest gratitude to my beloved spiritual father, Master Shah, to Master Shah's original soul, to all layers of God, Tao, Source, Creator, to all of the committees in heaven serving the light side, to all of the beings of light, Lama, Sifus, Guru, Saints, Buddha, Sodhisattvas, Angels, Healing Angels, Archangels, Jesus, Mother Mary, Buddhas, beloved Amitofu, Kuan Yin, and more. And we thank you for your presence and wisdom today. Thank you to our div divine God for borrowing my mouth and speaking this wisdom today. So for those that came in late, please go back, watch from the beginning. A lot of good wisdom came through today. It will serve your soul journey. So let us say three thank yous, three love yous, three gong songs. Gong songs, for those not familiar, means respectfully return another form of spiritual courtesy we say gong song gong song gong song which means we respectfully honor you love you appreciate you please return soul world they can go back and take care of their other responsibilities because they came here to serve you today thank you thank you thank you love you love you love you gong song gong song gong song thank you everybody for coming. Love you, love you, love you. We will see you on Thursday, three hours earlier than today, 9 a.m. Hawaii time. Bye-bye.